channel thank you so much for watching today's video if you are new my name is candy and if you aren't a part of my subscriber fam here please make sure to click the button below before you leave i'm really excited about today's video because recently i started using chanel product and i absolutely fell in love with the product and I know some of you saw that I mentioned it quite a lot in like my makeup details. So some of you were asking for like an all Chanel makeup tutorial. And I'm so lucky to be filming this look today, incorporating some of the fall slash winter 2017 collection. It is just such a glamorous brand. It is so elegant. The products are luxurious. The packaging is luxurious. Everything about Chanel just speaks luxury and elegance which i absolutely love so i really hope that you will enjoy today's makeup tutorial it is pretty easy to recreate and i wanted to show you something that is pretty wearable like you can see i have a smoky eye but it's not too hectic and it's literally like three steps and you're done so it's super easy i really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it so I already prepped my face and did my eyebrows. Moving on to the first step, I'm going to take one of my favorite products, the Soleil Tan Bronzer. And I'm going to basically buff this into the areas where you would usually contour, but just using bigger circular motions to get that lovely bronze sun-kissed look. Taking the sheer illuminating fluid in Sunkist, I'm going to layer that over the bronzer that I just did and this is going to give you that lovely glow girl. What I love about this product is that you can also use it on the rest of your body to extend that glow. This dual ended brush has got a little blending brush on the one side while it has a concealer brush on the other and it makes it super travel friendly so I'm going to use the concealer side and then pick up some of this concealer from the conceal highlight and color palette in the shade 160 and that I'm just going to use to really conceal um, a little bit under my eyes and imperfections that I have on my face. Picking up the cream shimmer highlighter, I'm going to apply the highlighter to the top points of my face, basically where the sun would naturally hit it and give it that lovely glow. Then you can grab the color side and add some color to those cheeks by using feathery strokes to blend it out properly. To set everything, I'm going to go in with Natural Finish Loose Powder and just lightly dust that over my face. Picking up the Longwear Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Memory. This is gorgeous on its own as an eyeshadow, but today I'm using it as my eyeshadow base. And I'm applying that to my eyelids using the concealer side of the dual ended brush. For today's eyeshadow look, we will use the Multi Effect Quadra eyeshadow in Road Movie and I'm picking up the darker brown with the blending side of the dual end brush and also applying that as a transition shade in my crease area and blend it out. With a small pencil brush, I'm also going to apply that to my lower lash line. Picking up the lighter blue shade, I'm going to tap that onto my lid. Now, just to quickly tell you guys, the blues of this eyeshadow palette is actually inspired by the different shades of blue from the ocean. And because we are placing this on top of our lid where we have the cream eyeshadow, and the cream eyeshadow is obviously brown with a gold undertone. So putting this blue over that is going to bring some green dimension to this blue and brown eyeshadow look. And I absolutely love that. The Intense Longwear Eyeliner Pen is perfect for that tight liner on the lash line because it's got like a brush like tip so you can either do a thick liner but for this look I'm going to stick with a small thin liner on top of my lash line. I'm using this little sample volume mascara from Chanel and I'm going to use that to finish off my eyes by adding a coat of mascara to my top lashes and lower ones. 
For the lips today, I'm going to show you three different options from this collection. We are starting off with Matte Liquid Lip in Highway. I absolutely love this colour and the formula. It's more like a matte liquid cream and the colour is not too intense. So it's a beautiful, gorgeous, soft coral that just adds a little bit of pop to any makeup look. The second lip option is definitely not for the faint hearted. This is the Luminous Matte Lip Color in First Light. And this is actually the lipstick you see Kristen wear, the famous visual for this collection. I love this color. It is the perfect shade of fiery orange. It is matte, it's long wearing. It's really just for someone who wants to be bold. And girl, speechless. <laughs> And you know there's always got to be a nude, so this is the Ultra Hydrating Lip Color in Daylight. I love this formula because it's not sheer, but it's also not too opaque and it's very buildable. While the formula is very moisturizing and also long wearing. So that is it for my lip options. And that is it for this lovely glowy makeup tutorial. I'm honestly loving this look. It is so quick to do that I think I will actually just rock it on a daily basis because I don't mind a smoky eye every now and then. I'm literally obsessed with everything within this collection. The lip products are gorgeous. The concealed highlight and color palettes are just something that is so perfect for traveling as well as your quad eyeshadow palette. What I love about this is that you can literally stick to these two shades and keep it pretty natural and then add the teal or blue for that extra pop. Um, I think it's perfect for traveling and it's perfect for the everyday woman um, because not everyone wants to have big bulky eyeshadow palettes. So I absolutely love it. I love this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys like it too. Please, please, please give it a thumbs up if you do. And then until my next video, you guys must stay sweet. I will talk to you soon.